It's D. Do you want to know how to save on a low income? If you do, stay tuned. I'm about to do some saving challenges that are catered toward low income budgets. Yeah, y'all. Hey. All right. So let's just get into this video. I'm recording this video a little early. And by the time you see this video, it will be virgo season and i am a virgo my birthday is in september and i'm excited for that i do have a amazon wish list down below i did have a few ladies last year who surprised me with some of my items i had on my wish list so if you're interested it's always linked down below now let's see what i'm going to save today with my seven challenges i do do monthly saving challenges now and this is due to my income reduction and yeah so today i will be allocating a total of 22 dollars that might seem small but every bit adds up and yeah we're just going to make it do what we do with what we got most of this income came from cash tips from our customers and a little bit came from some earnings that I set aside from my It's The brand. So thank you, thank you, everybody who has been supporting me. Side income budget listed up above showing how much I allocated from my It's The brand to my saving challenges, if you're interested in that. Allocating a total of $4 to my amazing savings challenge. My notebook challenge will be getting a total of $1. Christmas challenge will be getting a total of three. D bucks will be getting a total of three. Ugly three, but. And the squirrel challenge will be getting a total of 11. I did make a couple of changes to my challenges because I found that two of them just wasn't motivating enough to me. So I will be going over there in just a second. So let's make sure this right here equals up to the $22 that I will be allocating today. So that's four plus one plus three plus three plus 11 equals a total of $22. So that is a zero base allocation. Alrighty, now let's count the cash. I did go out there and make me a new envelope and this envelope right here, here's the back. I will be housing the actual cash money in here. So I should have a total of $14 in cash. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that is correct. How have y'all been doing? Have your kids started school yet? Let me know. My nephew started school. And my little nephew, my baby nephew, he is eight months now. So, and he is just, who he is just the cutest. I had him last weekend and I got him to drink out of a cup with me holding it, of course. And then once we got down to the bottom, <laughs> got down to the bottom of it, he took the cup out of my hand, was like, where the rest of it? <laughs> so that was so cute. And in prop cash, I should have a total of eight dollars so two four six seven and eight that is all the cash that i have and prop money i do use a combination of cash and prop money because i prefer to keep my money in bank and i'm a digital budgeter so i don't use much cash so this fourteen dollars came from tips from customers as i stated before right here is from funny Magita jones she is always linked down below if you're interested in a binder like this it is very nice and handmade okay the first challenge i'll be doing in here is the amazing challenge and this will be my first time doing this this is one of my apprenticeship challenges this is a tester so yours will be either on car stock and or laminated however you order it i am trying to save a total of 30 dollars in each one of my stars i allocated them to be a total of two dollars all righty so we're going to put a total of four dollars for this challenge 
and I'm just going to color in the little halo thing around the star to signify I'm adding a total of four dollars for this challenge I'm so excited from um, Virgo season. It's like one of my favorite times of the year. I don't really like the fall, but I love I love Virgo season. It's just it's a vibe. And I know there's several budgeters who are also Virgos. I know budget with best is a Virgo. In the house, if you're a Virgo, leave me a hashtag Virgo down below. Hey. Alrighty, so that was colored in. This is my mini savings challenge book that I have available on Amazon, the physical copy. And I have the digital version available on my YouTube store and my buy me a coffee shop if you are interested. This is my money tracker and these are available on these digital world and my buy me a coffee shop. And as I stated, I will be adding a total of $4 to this challenge. Today is actually August the 5th. and two and four and i don't know where my money will be going when i do these challenges i used to set it up ahead of time but now since i can only do them once a month i will decide where the money gets allocated once i finish a challenge for the most part all right next i'll be getting into the mini 100 notebook challenge and I do not count the money unless I'm going to finish a challenge. So it already has a total of $16 from July. And right here is the mini 100 notebook savings challenge. And this is available on these Digital World and my Buy Me A Coffee shop. Challenge is it comes with a total of 100 of these pages. I currently have 50 of the 100 in here. And you just save whatever amount that you want to save. It comes with these two black covers. And I will be going towards the second one. And I'm just going, you can write on the back if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and put all of mine in the front. And this will just be my catch all challenge to round off any extra money I have because I like to color in full icons when I do my challenges. And this time I had a dollar extra. So they'll be getting one dollar. And today is eight dash five. You can write on here however you want to do it. It's just up to you. That's an ugly dollar. All right, so I'll be adding a dollar to this one. And yeah, it comes with this little ring. It's quite sturdy ring. So yeah, yeah. Now we have the one dollar and now with this extra dollar it should have a total of 16 17 dollars in here as the tracker states so that is it the last one that i will be doing in this binder is my christmas challenge and it had 17 dollars in there at the beginning and this one is also available on these Digital World. It is a print to ship. And yours will come with either lamination or just regular sturdy card stock. This is just a sample. And last time I added a total of $2 to go towards this number five. I owed it a total of $3. So I will be adding $3. This is what I don't really like to do. I don't like to do IOUs or what what have you. So next time I will just make sure I have enough to mark off an icon when I do all of my challenges. And that's just a personal preference. So now I get to mark this off and I should have a total of $20 in here. With this right here, we'll be going towards my gift fund and I use that for everything. Christmas, birthdays, what have you. And it will be getting a total of three so two and three and now it should have a total of twenty dollars in there i'm trying to save up a total of a hundred dollars with this challenge so as you see you don't have to have a whole lot of money to stuff your challenges if you only have a couple of dollars just go ahead and stuff it i have twenty two dollars of stuff today and i'm proud of that twenty two dollars all righty so my next challenges will be in here and this is where i made a quite a bit of changes 
in this binder. This binder holds nothing but the real cash money. I, I did switch out my monthly saving challenges and those were going towards my mortgage, but I was getting kind of bored with the monthly saving challenges. So I'm just going to do random mini saving challenges to go towards my mortgage. So I had this one right here, the squirrel challenge from here to their journey. I will have her channel linked down below. She sent this to me either earlier this year or late last year. So I decided to have each cookie to be worth a total of a dollar. And these two icons right here, the cookie jar and the squirrel will be worth a total of $3. And I will be allocating a total of $11 today. And once I'm finished with this challenge, $5 and this $25 will go towards my mortgage because these cookies right here that I colored right here, these were already allocated to my monthly challenge. But as I stated, I stopped doing those. That was $11. I would be able to color in these two icons and these cookies right here. So I will color those in and I will speed y'all through. and i want to say thank you so much to rebecca for sending me this this will be a nice payment once i finish it to put towards my principal on my mortgage if you are new here my mortgage is my last debt and i'm planning on having that pay off in the next year I will link up above or at the end of the video my debt payoff plan to get my mortgage paid off by August of next year. So I have a total of four more dollars and this challenge will be finished. Eleven dollars, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so since I don't have a tracker for this one, I will count this one. I should have a total of $21 here because the challenge is for $25 and I have four more cookies left. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So, yeah, yo, cash money. Got them ones, y'all. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Y'all, the dollars add up. Don't hate on the dollars. Hashtag don't hate down below. <laughs> now let's get into my last challenge. And this is a debug challenge. I actually got this from Jesse from Jesse C Envelopes. She sent this to me last year. And I have a total of three debugs. And this will also be going towards my mortgage once I finish it. The tracker is worth a total of $20. All righty, so that is it for this one right here. Thank you so much, Jesse. And if you are new here, you're not aware, all the dollar bills and the two dollar bills have an initial right here, and I'm saving up the D bucks to put towards my mortgage. Most of this money, except the money I just added, came from fellow YouTubers that sent me happy mail. And that's how I got the D-Bucks, because as I stated, I'm not a cash budgeter. All right, let's see how much I have now in D-Bucks. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, yeah, yo, seven more to go, and I will be finished with this challenge. So y'all, that is it for my savings challenge video. If you only have a little bit of money to stuff, go ahead and stuff what you can. It all adds up. I know we 
preach that in the budgeted community, but that is 100% accurate. And y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for rocking with me. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a hashtag low because even if you have a low income, you still can save money that you can follow along my journey. I am saving and paying off my mortgage all on a low income. Y'all don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you have a blessed day. Bye.